It's the wow stick. Wow. It's so easy and enjoy. It's so easy. Okay, I think we're missing a comma there or something maybe. Well, it's always entertaining to read a box that's been translated. So I think what they're saying is it's easy to enjoy maybe. Uh, in any case, what we have here inside the package is a sort of clamshell type of case here that you can open up and it is held together by magnets. So instead of having just a thing that flips open there, it will stick together when you put it back on. So inside we have the wow stick itself and we have many different types of bits. I will list these all in the video description, but you've got all sorts of bits here. And the interesting thing is that they did use a standard size bit, so it's interchangeable with lots of the phone repair kits that are on the market today. Uh, if you happen to have a different bit or you lose one, you shouldn't have any trouble replacing it. Now, the wow stick itself requires batteries, obviously, because it is driven by a motor down here at the bottom. And unfortunately, these batteries were not included. So you will need a couple of AAA batteries. And if you look very closely here, it will show you the direction that they go inside of the device. So let's see, that is with the plus side down. So we're gonna go this way. And once we get these batteries in, go ahead and just screw the back end on here. I'm actually using my fingernail. And we'll see that we have little button here we can press that's going to go forward and that I assume is going to go backwards now they also have LED lights at the bottom so whatever it is that you happen to be working on should illuminate somewhat and the first thing that came to mind for me with this is Samsung because as you know they like to use tons and tons of screws on the back of their phone so let's get zoomed in here a bit so you can get a better view and we'll see how much faster we can get these things out using the wow stick as opposed to a hand-driven screwdriver. Oh, and by the way, this all these bits that are contained in this little deal here, they kind of pop out. So you've got, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six different bits. This would probably not be my favorite way to organize these. I think what I would do is probably get one that has, you know, my top three most commonly used bits, and then the other ones we wouldn't have to mess around with too often because usually you're not dealing with too many different size bits, at least for phones. Now, of course, you could use this for all sorts of different devices. Whenever I'm working on Samsungs, that is a PH000. I would use that for my iPhones. For the Samsungs, I find that using a PH00, unless you happen to have a uh, Japanese industrial standard on hand, they tend to fit a little bit better. So. Now, for some reason, the bit sizes that are included with the wow stick go from pH zero to pH triple zero. So there is no double zero bit. But what I found is that either of these will actually work. I'm gonna go ahead and go with the larger one, the pH zero, and it does seem to fit just perfectly on the back of this Galaxy S6. Now with this, of course, our goal is to make the process much faster. So instead of hand tightening or loosening any of these screws, you just hit the button and back it all the way out. And then of course, if you've ever worked on a Samsung before, you know the, uh, the uh, second most annoying thing is that these screws don't unwind all the way out of the frame. You will probably have to take a pair of tweezers or something and remove them the rest of the way. But as far as installing and removing the screws, it is as easy as the push of a button. And if you want to torque them down a bit, you can release the driver or the part that drives the motor and you can hand twist to tighten or loosen these screws. There is not actually any sort of torque mechanism built into it. So you kind of have to just tighten it until it stops. And as far as the loosening goes, of course, that's not as much of a concern, but you'll see that as you hit the bottom of the screw thread, you'll feel a bit of a jerk and then you know that it's kind of tightened all the way into the frame. Now, probably my second least favorite phone when it comes to dealing with a large number of screws will be the Motorola series because they tend to put anywhere from 12 to 18 screws into the back panel of their phones. On this particular model, they also chose to use a very unusual size bit. This is a T3, but here's a good demonstration of the cross compatibility. I actually took a T3 bit out of my own toolkit and it fits into the wow stick. Now they do include most of the essential bits that you would use for iPhones and Galaxy phones, but you will occasionally come across something that doesn't, uh, isn't very common. And it's nice to be able to take your own bits and install them into the driver. And so once again, 
we are going to just do a quick test here. Make sure you have these seated perfectly because if you don't, these small Torx screw heads are easy to kind of just twist out. But once we are certain that it's seated in there properly, not a problem. And you can save yourself, whoops, I almost got ahead of myself there. You can actually save yourself a bit of time as opposed to twisting these things in by hand or out by hand. So this is very useful when you're dealing with this kind of phone. Now, I don't generally worry about things like this when I'm working on a phone that has very few screws. You know, if you're doing an iPhone screen, uh, just one single repair, it wouldn't really be a big deal. But if you're doing a lot of them back to back, this could definitely save on uh, the um, fatigue that you might experience over time just by twisting screws by hand. There are purchase links down in the video description. So if you're interested in getting yourself your own wow stick or mom stick or whatever you want to call it, uh, you can find the purchase link below there. This is pretty cool. They've actually come down quite a bit in price from the point uh, in time where they were first released. So really overall, not a bad deal. I will be using this in some upcoming repair videos just to uh, kind of continue to test it out and see how it works. But so far I gotta say, overall, this is very helpful if you want to uh, get things done fast and not wear out your wrist twisting screwdrivers around all day. If you found the video helpful, like it, share it, check out my channel for more tutorials and product reviews, and most of all, remember to hit the subscribe button. Feel free to leave your feedback in the comments section, and thanks for watching.